Hello world, Krista here from Books and Jams, and I am going to do a humongous book haul. I actually might split this up into two parts because there are just so many books. I was starting to feel guilty about this, but then I remembered that I'm putting myself on a complete and total spending ban for the month of September. I will not be buying a single thing if I can help it for the month of September, and that includes books. And also, I have a large box of books that I'm beginning to unhaul. I do have a number of books here. I don't have them in any particular order. They're just piling up on my stand. And so I'm just gonna start from the top and work my way down. Let's jump right in. The first book that I bought from Barnes & Noble on their bargain shelf was The Bridget Jones Diary. This is the Pride and Prejudice retelling and a movie that I watched years and years ago, but I've never read the book, so I picked this one up. I found this one from a little free library on my road trip in Maine. I took a, a week-long road trip in Maine and found a couple different little free libraries. This is the only book that I picked up from one, though. This is The Handmaid's Tale from Margaret Atwood. Um, I did read this a long time ago. It's kind of a dystopian. Um, talks a little bit about feminism and horrible treatment of women in this book, uh, as far as I can remember, but it's been a long time, and I'm glad that I now own it and will read it again someday. This book I was sent, it's called A Tapestry of Secrets by Sarah Loudon Thomas. And actually, I think this book was sent to my church where I work, and the administrator knows that I'm a reader, and she put it in my box. So, yay for free books. I don't know anything about it, and I'm not really going to talk much about the books as I go through, because there are just too many of them. But I will put links to the ones I talk about in this video down in the description. If anything sounds interesting to you, you can check it out on Goodreads. I have heard so much about this book on booktube and so this is The Strange and Beautiful Sorrows of Ava Lavender by Leslie Walton and I believe this is about a girl who was born with wings and that's really all I know. I saw it at a thrift store and thought I would pick it up. At that same bookstore I picked up Flowers for Algernon by Daniel Keyes and this is a classic book about a boy with some special needs who is put into a trial for some kind of medication or something along those lines. I don't know much more about it than that. Yay for used bookstores. So I picked up this um, mystery called Before the Frost by Henning Mankell. I don't know too much about it. I know it's a father-daughter detective team um, and there's a mystery that uh, gets a little close to home when one of her friends is affected or goes missing or something along those lines. It just looks like a good mystery. I don't read them very often, so I thought I would pick this one up. Also from that library book sale, I picked up Sweet Francais, I can't speak French at all, um, by I Irene Nemirovsky. Irene Nemirovsky. And this is a World War II novel. It's set in France during World War II. Uh, yes, please. <laughs> I picked up this book called Me and Mr. Darcy by Alexandra Potter because Mr. Darcy. <laughs> this book is becoming a movie soon, The Light Between Oceans by M. L. Stedman. I did not own it. I want to read it before the movie comes out. It's about a family who finds a, a lighthouse keeper and his wife who find a baby who's almost at something. They kind of adopt this baby and then the mother comes into the picture, the birth mother comes into the picture. I um, have six adopted siblings and adoption is something that's very close to my heart, but it's a very tough subject in a lot of ways, so I'm very aware that this book might be very hard and emotional, but I'm looking forward to reading it. This is kind of near the top of all of these books when it comes to my TBR. I picked up um, The Underground Railroad by Colson Whitehead, and this is about the Underground Railroad, clearly another historical fiction, and I'm really looking forward to it. I believe I have some ancestors that were a part of the Underground Railroad, and so it's a subject that's very interesting to me, and I'm looking forward to reading this book. In my Barnes & Noble shopping adventure last week, I picked up this book, The Queen of the Tearling by Erica Johansson, number one because it's gorgeous. It's a beautiful cover and spine, and it's a fantasy novel. I don't have any idea what it's about. I know Reagan from Peru's Project has read it. I also think Shannon from Leaning Lights has read it recently, um, or talked about the sequels or something recently. I'm really interested to read this book. 
My mom kind of runs the store at the camp where she works and in the store they have a bookshelf of books that are kind of like a little free library. You can take them and use, read them during the week and return them or bring them home or whatever. So I picked up two Christian fiction books from that shelf. It's Love Finds You in Last Chance California by Mira Lee Farrell and Love Finds You in Romeo, Colorado by Oh my word, Gwen Ford Falconberry. That's a really hard font to read. Gwen Ford Falconberry. So these are both just um, Western Christian fiction romance, easy reads. I have a couple other of the Love Finds You series. Very simple, very nice, quick reads. I enjoy them. All right, I'm going to This is called The Rebel Pirate, and this is from my birthday haul so I may have already shown it but I don't remember this is by Donna I can't see it Donna Thorland um, this was also a Barnes & Noble um, bargain shelf and this is about a girl who whose father is a pirate and she I guess tries to get out of that world but ends up on another ship and becomes pirate working for the rebels during the pre-revolutionary war era I believe or just right during that time um, revolutionary war time so, just sounded a little interesting to me, and so I grabbed it. For real, this is only about half, yikes. I am part of a fiction guild for Zondervan, and they send me books now and then to talk about and read, and one of them is, that I recently received is The Courtship Basket by Amy Clipston. Amy Clipston, and this is an Amish novel. I was not impressed really with the last Amish novel that they sent me. I really enjoy reading Amish fiction. I've read some that are very good and some that aren't. I'm not sure if Amy Clipston is one that I really enjoy or not, but I will let you know. I'm going to stop there because I have to get ready to go to work. However, I still have tons to do, so I guess I will be doing a part two very soon. But there is part one of my summer book haul, I'll be calling it, because it's for the last couple months. Sorry if I talked really quickly. I will put a list of all the books that I just mentioned down in the description box so that if you're interested in any of them, you can check them out. Sorry I did not take the time to really go into detail with any of them, um, but there are just too many to show <laughs> to talk about all of them in depth. It would be forever long. So I'm excited about most of these books. Probably near the top of my list of what I want to read soon is The Light Between Oceans. However, I also really want to read Ava Lavender because I've just heard so many good things about this one. Um, the rest of them will be on my shelves for me to pick up when I feel like it because that's how I read. Yes, so if you've read any of these books or if any sound really interesting to you, I would love to chat with you down in the comments or let me know what book have you picked up very recently that you're excited to read. I would love to know that as well. I always love hearing some recommendations. So I look forward to chatting with you in the comments. I will have another video for you very soon. And until then, bye.